This is 12,000 calories of new and limited time junk food, and in this video, I'm going to try to eat it all myself and give you my review of each item. Cheez-It Puffs, Chocolate Squares, Rice crispy Treats, Ice Cream Drumsticks, A Pint of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, A Pint of Blue Bunny Ice Cream, Little Caesars Crazy Puffs, Entman's Brownie Drizzle Drops, A Package of Tate's Cookies, A Package of Milano Cookies, A Bag of Ritz Toasted Chips, and finally, A Package of Oreos. Now the total stats of all this delicious new junk food, I'm going to put that I'm going to put that right there for you guys. To drink, we got warm water and 2% milk. I'm going to give myself an hour to do this. With that being said, I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the new junk food of April 2024. I'm hungry. I'm happy. Let's eat. Timer started, put it there. Now let's start with one of the Little Caesars Crazy Puffs. These are essentially mini pizzas. They have two different flavors, cheese and pepperoni. I have no idea which is which because they look the same, but they come in packs of four. Cheers. Oh, those are really good. I know it's early, but I'm gonna give them two thumbs up. The outside edge crust was nice and crispy. It wasn't a thick crust edge though. It was nice and slim. It was overflowing with cheese and light on the sauce, which is good for Little Caesars because I don't like their sauce. Next one we do the milk chocolate caramel waffle cone squares. Crunchy waffle cone pieces inside the chocolate. I don't know how they do that. Gotta love that individual wrapping. I believe this is the first time I'm willingly eating Ghirardelli chocolate squares since I did the chocolate squares challenge some years back. Here we go. Hey, welcome back to another new junk food video, folks. Yeah, the Ghirardelli chocolate squares, that was a tough challenge. I remember that one. And since then, I've been avoiding the Ghirardelli squares, but these waffle cone ones piqued my interest. Okay, I give those one thumbs up. The chocolate was rich, not heavy chocolate though. You can easily get at the overflowing caramel in the center. The chocolate bits or the waffle cone bits give a nice extra bite to it. I actually wish there were more of the waffle cone bits inside. Uh, Tate's Bake Shop Toasted Vanilla Cappuccino Cookies. I was so intrigued by this vanilla cappuccino. Like, what kind of cookie? How, what, did, what would that even taste like in a cookie? I believe Tate's Bake Shop might be specific to New England. They're known for thin, crunchy cookies. If I was paying attention, I would have noticed it says Southampton, New York, right on the front of the package. Duh. These cookies were very interesting though, and it took me a while to really nail down my final thoughts on them. I'm kind of on the fence with these. I'm going to reserve my judgment right now. All right, it took the whole package for me to decide, but I'm gonna give it one thumbs up. It tastes like a vanilla cappuccino specifically, not just vanilla. I've never had a cappuccino, but if you're a fan of cappuccinos, I think you would like these. It's not intensely sweet though, it's just, it's, it's nice and light. I have three things of ice cream in my freezer and I don't have to go off camera to get it. Nestle drumsticks. 
Little Drumsticks, Strawberry and Vanilla Strawberry. 12 cones. I'm not gonna unwrap all these at first, I'm just gonna do it as I go. They probably melt all over the table anyway. This one was from the B-roll. I really hope the cone is crunchy and not rubbery. Let's find out. gonna move this I don't want it to block your view okay how considerate always looking out for the viewer how kind of you my friend ha huh. these cones were pretty good but unfortunately it takes longer to unwrap them than it does to eat them the paper really gets stuck to the cones very well and spend a lot of time just trying to rip it off it's like do it I just want to get to the ice cream man like come on don't hold me back like this. All right, that's 10 of the 12 down. I prefer the strawberry flavor over the vanilla strawberry. It's more intensely sweet. I'd give it one thumbs up though. The majority of the cones are crunchy. I would say like 80, 70 to 80%. The crunchy cones are awesome. When you get to a rubbery one though, it really brings it down. I do like how the ice cream is all the way to the bottom of the cone though, not just on the top. Excellent. I can't really taste the crunchy stuff on the top though. Maybe it's just me. Ooh, that warm water hit the spot. So much packaging. I forgot my wet wipes over here. That was a messy one. The Cheez-It Puffed Cheese Pizza. Cheesy, airy, and puffy. If this actually tastes like cheese pizza, I'm gonna be very impressed. And warm water for this. Cheers. That was the ASMR section of the video. I know some people do like that actually. I am a pizza fanatic, it's my favorite food. So anything that's pizza flavored, you know I gotta try it. These cheese puffs took me like three or four months to find though. So when I finally found them at Stop and Shop, I was super excited. Ah, all right, I'm gonna give those a so-so. Take away the review, my friend. It would be my pleasure, bro. These were unfortunately not very good. They tasted like cheap artificial cheese pizza. I was not a fan. Come on, Cheez-Its, you can do better than that. Ah, Cheez-It puffs are done. Those are messy and they stick to the roof of your mouth like crazy. Next, let's do the Entman's Brownie Drizzle Drops. So these are individual brownie bites with center filled with caramel and then drizzled with chocolate. Whew, Entman's spared no expense with the packaging on this one. That was some heavy plastic. Okay, back to the milk, and how long have we been going? 24 minutes, a little nervous about that, but let's keep it going. Oh, that's really good, one thumbs up. These had a lovely texture. They were dense, they were moist, and the caramel in the center complemented the chocolate beautifully. Thick, chocolatey, and delicious. Next, let's do the Rice Krispie Treats chocolatey peanut butter. I mean, you know I love peanut butter, right? And luckily, I believe this is the last item that's individually packaged. All right, seven Rice Krispie Treats. Back to the warm water. That's pretty good. I'm impressed with how 
The Rice Krispies themselves taste like they were made from peanut butter. It's not like a layer of peanut butter, like the Krispies themselves taste like peanut butter. And it's a nice thin layer of chocolate on the bottom. I like it. Almost 29 minutes. Let's get another pint of ice cream. All right, this is the Ben & Jerry's PB S'more. Toasted marshmallow ice cream with peanut butter cups, graham cracker pieces, and marshmallow swirls. Ben & Jerry's always has so much going on with their pints. You rarely see a flavor of Ben & Jerry's with a simple description. Always complex with a lot happening. And I am all for it. I'm giving, it, giving that a, eh. The chocolate chips or the, oh, they were peanut butter cups. What's wrong with you? The peanut butter cups overshadowed all the other flavors in there. I couldn't really taste the marshmallows, the graham cracker pieces. They do use huge chunks of peanut butter cups. Let's do the other package of Crazy Puffs from Little Caesars. Another four pack. I don't know if these ones are the pepperoni or the cheese. I'm thinking they should be the pepperoni, but let's find out. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna give those one thumbs up. The edge was still nice and crispy, but I feel like the pepperoni isn't necessary. I feel like the cheese ones were more cheesy as well. 34, okay. These are dirt cake flavor cream Oreos. Gummy worm inspired sprinkles on top. I don't know what the cream is gonna taste like. And back to the milk. I had two different limited time Oreos to choose from. This and the churro Oreos. I ended up going with these because my best friend doesn't like churros, he said. This one's for you, Joel. Tastes like an Oreo. Well, duh. Were you expecting something different? Well, I thought the flavor of the cream or the sprinkles on top would change it up a bit. I would be hard pressed to find a cookie that tastes better when dipped in milk than Oreo. I don't know if you can find one. Dipping them in milk just takes the flavor absolutely into the stratosphere, dude. So good. Two thumbs up for the dirt cake Oreos that look different than a regular Oreo, but taste exactly the same in my opinion. Okay, we got three items left, the chips, and then we'll do the soft ice cream after that. These are the Ritz Sweet Habanero Toasted Chips. Okay, back to the warm water. Cheers. Oh yeah, those are definitely spicy. Wow, hello. There it is, yep. That is intense. Woo! And when I coughed just now, all of the burning just came up back into my throat. Oh, let's go back to the milk for this. Whew. These chips were seriously spicy, maybe even hotter than hot Cheetos, and I am not exaggerating. Plus, the roof of my mouth was a bit scratched up at this point due to the Cheez-It puffs from earlier. And when your mouth is scratched up a bit, eating something really spicy does not do you any favors. That's why I was very glad to have the milk to help me out. And it helped a ton. Oh, that was very intense. I give it one thumbs up for absolutely nailing the spicy sweet flavor. Wow. What's the time? 46. I think we will make it. All right, let me get the other pint of ice cream. All right, this is the Blue Bunny Twist Candy Bar. Peanut butter and chocolate soft frozen dairy dessert swirled with ribbons of caramel. Oh, I think this is gonna taste amazing. Oh, especially after 
all those spicy, crunchy chips. Ooh. Need a napkin. Ugh. Ah. Pint down. <clears throat> oh, that really hit the spot. I give it one thumbs up. The peanut butter and caramel were awesome and all three items were perfectly blended together they weren't like separated unfortunately there was a little too much chocolate for my taste 49 minutes it's gonna be close actually but i think we'll be all right pour some more two percent milk here and then we'll, we'll do the final item the milano london fog cookies a taste of earl grey tea with vanilla okay here we go Ugh. All right, I'm gonna have to give that one thumbs down. Oh, that is not good. What in the world is that flavor? I just don't like it at all. Oh my goodness, that is not good. Okay, luckily we only got a few left. Let's finish it. Whew. I did not enjoy these cookies whatsoever. Not a fan of the flavor, but I'm out of here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Ugh. Time, 53 minutes on the dot. Best item, the cheese crazy puffs.